Hi. Lillian's nervous. There's a little bit of thunder going on and she's not a big fan. But I love it. I love thunder and I love lightning, but she is just like a shaking hi cousin. Hi sister. Who else is here? There's four three other people here, but I don't know who it is. Mark Levine. How are you, sir? Yeah, Lily. So there's this, um, I'm in St. Joseph, Michigan, and I'm on the bluff. And those of you that know, there's a train track below. I mean, and living in California for as long as I have, spend a lot of time around earthquakes yeah thank you hi Paul so when the train goes by at a certain time and now that it's so quiet it feels like an earthquake and the house like does an earthquake thing so doubling that with a thunder vibe this thing right here we got Gracie Gracie's wanting to, Gracie's calling in. No bandwidth? Allison, hi. Let's see, I've got to call Grace. Mama Grace. Hi, Mom. Okay, how about I just put you on, you can just be here with me if you want. Yeah, okay. No, you're here. Unless you want to, do you want to go, do you want to, do you want people to see you? Huh? Can you see? Okay. At some point, I might have somebody call in, though, so I might have to hang up. All right. Hi, Carol Fassbender. So here we are. It's 11-11. It's Friday night. Grace, yep. Grace is here. Grace is in the house. Hi, Pat. Hi, Carol. Mom's right here. Yeah, you, see, you can see Lil. You can't see, can you, Mom? No. I don't want to. Hi, hi, Carol. Grace is saying hi to everybody. <laughs> so, rain, exactly, for the lilacs, I know. So, um, Karen, did you meet, did you get to hook up with my cousin, Tanya? Did you guys meet up? It's all about connecting. Lisa says hi, Mama. Oh, hi, Lisa. So I learned how to Zoom tonight. I'm watching on uh, Mitch's. Oh, good. So can I hang up? Okay. She hung up. She just, like, she leaves. When she's ready to go, she just goes. I know. I love Thunder and Lightning. But this child right here, not a big fan. You could probably see her shaking if you... Be okay. You're all right. Um... So yeah, so Grace is all good. Hi, Jim. Friday night. Oh, Zoom. So I learned how to Zoom. But I kind of like it here. But I was thinking... I'm glad you found it. Thank you very much. Thank you for the Zoom tutorial. Um, I'm thinking we should plan a party on Zoom. So, of the people that are here right now, what time of day dad would say the trains put white caps on the toilet exactly so yeah you'll be sitting on the toilet for instance and all of a sudden doo -doo 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 -doo, and I'm like earthquake and then I go no I'm in St. Joseph Michigan but I've been here for an earthquake before Beth peerless howdy do howdy do howdy do hi how are you I ask, and then I cough. Um, well, it's great to see your name, and I love that you're here. Feeling okay? You're all good? So, oh, you learned how to Zoom, too. Hi, Emily. So, I'm thinking, let's, let's pick a day, an evening, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. on the West Coast. Okay. Tanya says hi to everyone. So between 10 and 5 on the West Coast. But I'm thinking cocktail. So um, 
10 a.m. cocktail? I don't know. So if it were, how about 4 p.m. on the West Coast and then 7 p.m. here, because then it would be 6 for Chicago. I just got a message from my friend John Glenn. Jim, Gina, we know John. One of my our buddies from New Orleans for Jazz Fest. So, yeah, let's pick a day and we could Zoom and we could have a little mocktail, cocktail kind of thing. Hi, Kim Mead. Lisa, Kim's here. Okay, well, we could do it 10 a.m., 5 p.m. in Montana. So, yeah, that would be 5 p.m. for Montana. So did I say seven here? Seven, four. John Glenn is not here. Why don't you text him and have him have him jump on? Lisa says, hi, Kim. So what day? Hi, Jason. When are we going to have our party? I mean, we could do it tomorrow, but I want to feel a little bit better first. I want to drink more than my tea or my kombucha. So what about this gig economy for songwriters and self-employed people? Do you think, are we, are, are we all eligible? Many of us are, I think, that I've seen here tonight. Lisa, do you see what I have back here? So this poster of these two pigs, I think a few of you, maybe, back in 1969, I was looking in a magazine, and in the back it said, buy this poster, Two Pigs in Love. So I saved my money. Hey, cousin, Prima Nadine. I saved my $7.99, and I ordered Pigs in Love. Venice Beach. Hi, Sam. His name is Joe Monroe. And I had it rolled up for, I don't know, 30 plus years. And I had it framed, Pigs in Love. And I Googled it to see, if, you know, if he's still around. He's still alive. And he still sells it. And I think it's like eleven ninety nine now. But I love him. They, they, they are right over my refrigerator, or my uh, sink. You know, some people have a, w a window that looks out into their beautiful ranch or the ocean. I look at two pigs in love. Hi, Michael Teach. When are we going to be performing at your place in Chicago? I want to do that again soon. Hi, Kristen. Yeah, it's like romper room for adults. Romper room for grown-ups. Is anybody having a cocktail right now? John Jang. Wow, hi. Anyone? Very soon. Let's do it. John Glenn, how are you? Welcome to Chicago. I'm getting, I'm much better than I was. I was really tired today, but I'm much better. Hello, Nadine from Lisa. Kim, what are you drinking? Wine. You're a whiner, a wine drinker, right? John Glenn, are you having a cocktail? So Gina, are you here? If Gina Malita's is around, we could do a little talk about cocktails with Gina. <laughs> He's here. We're going to miss each other. We're not going to see each other till October. We could meet in Chicago. That would be cool. So did we decide what when we're going to Zoom or should we just hang here? I'm good here, but then I don't, you know, I, this, I know if then you see each other and it's all groovy and cool. And... Oh, that's a good idea. Some folks talk about my power. Some folks say I'm wild and strong. Others say my style of living 
makes a man go wrong. I'm a woman hard to handle. If you need to handle me, better run when I start coming. I've got thunder and it rings. Because love is an emotion, it will move you to do things, do things, do things. Because love is an emotion, it will move you to do things. I've got thunder and it rings. Bum, some folks talk about the love they're feeling. Talk about the love they need. Others say that love is waiting. In the meantime, watch my speed. Well, I've got love for climbing mountains. Love for sailing overseas. I got love. There is no stopping. Love for sailing like the breeze. Because love is an emotion. It will move you to do things. Do things, do things, because love is an emotion, it will move you to do things. I've got thunder and it rings. When my life on earth is over and the struggle here is done, I will find a new dimension in the rising sun in a place that is forever. I will spread my wings and fly. If you see a streak of lightning, I'll be passing by because love is an emotion. It will move you to do things, do things, do things because love is an emotion. It will move you to do things. I've got thunder. And it rings. Hi, Sybilla Savage. Hi, Mary Capizzo. Wow. The, um, this Frida Kahlo pillow is from a, a friend of mine made it down in um, Mexico in, in um, Sayulita. Might have some. I'll see. So that was uh, an Abby Lincoln song for those of you that know some of my music. Kim Brown, Kim Mead, Lisa Mamina, all in the same space. Clap, clap. <laughs> yes, Abby Lincoln. She was a second mother to me and also from Michigan, from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hi, Julie. And I lived with her for quite a while in New York back in the day. When am I going to sing a Katy Perry song for you? <gasps> I know, right? Which Katy Perry song should I learn? Lisa says, Hi, Sibs and Mary and Kim Brown. Which Katy Perry song? I kissed a girl and I liked it. That's all I know of that one. Hi, Rich. I'm kissing a girl right now. So anyway, that's my song for the night, Miss Abby Lincoln. Whenever I would sing an Abby Lincoln tune, hi Ray, I would call her. She's since passed, but I would call her and I'd say, Miss Abby, I sang. Tonight we were singing, uh, what song? I Got Thunder and Bird Alone and Throw It Away. And she'd say, good for Abby. And then sometimes she'd suggest a song and then she would recite every word on the phone for me. And when I lived with her, we would sit there and recite whole songs, not sing, talk them out and sit on her couch and hear the lyric in a whole other way. David Dodd. Thank you for joining us today. That was really fun. Really fun. Your book. Where is it at? Did I? Oh, I put it back. It's in its special place. 
I'm really happy you were there. And I, we, we really appreciated your spontaneity and being there. Learn the one that got away or firework. The one that got away, I'll learn firework. Hi, Chris Woodruff. Your girl's here. Lillian, Chris is here. Look, right there, Chris. There's Chris. Where's Chris? Used to have to hide the knife. She always tried to use op to open the wine. Who's that? Katy Perry? Firework. I'll learn it. There she is. She's really nervous about the storm right now. Hi, Lee. Hey, Lee. When am I performing in Chicago at your place? Is it March 2021, right? Allison DeGrassi, how are you? How's Mr. Allison DeGrassi? How's Alex doing? Please say hello from all of us. I have a question for Alex, but I'll, I'll, I'll message you guys later. It's in regards to guitar players. I'm getting better. I'm much better. March, March 2021, I will be performing in Chicago at Windy City, Windy City Concert with Rolf. March of 2021. So a year from now, maybe we could all meet in Chicago. And then we could also do Michael Teach the same weekend. We could do it just a whole Chicago, do the Green Mill, hang out at the Green Mill, go see Patty play on Monday night. Wouldn't that be fun? Mm -hmm. She's going to be there in April, but, you know. Actually, tonight, Rolf in um, COVID should be done by then. <laughs> um. Rolf and I were going to be in Albuquerque tonight at, um, Lisa, we were going to be at that brewery that we went to, that we, uh, which one, the, the one where we had the stout. Yeah, move your Chicago Spring Dental appointment, or you could come to my dentist in Mexico. You could come to the um, San Pancho Music Festival last weekend in February. Get your teeth done there. And then we could all meet in Chicago. Hola. Hey, Susan Diedrich. Hi, tie-dye Patty. Tie-dye Patty, I need a new shirt so I can wear it. I need to wear it here on, on Facebook Live. Jim and John Glenn are here, Gina. The gang's all here. We have, you know, little gangs and stuff in Anyway, name of what, Lisa? What do, what do you want to name of? Oh, my mom said to put Lillian down because you can't see my face. <laughs> I was on your calendar tonight. I'm trying to think of the name of the brewery we were playing at tonight. Marble. We were going to play Marble Brewery tonight. No. Corrales. Hi, Jay. Yeah. John, Glenn, Gina, Jim, Jenna. Shut the front door. Um, Marble Brewery and Corrales. And then, um, and then we were going to do a concert at Loretta and Bobby's. Yeah, we were going to be there tonight. We would have been with Aunt Connie today. Anyway. Where were any of you? Oh, tonight was Corrales, and then tomorrow night was Marble Brewery. Where would all of you have been tonight? Out at a party, out having dinner, watching a Star Trek marathon, or... This is, oh, this is Lillian's cool. This is from San Pancho. The Weechel. This man. It's got her name on it. So anyway, watching the detectives? Really? New Zealand. You were going to be in New Zealand, David?
Petaluma, New Zealand. I love Petaluma. Nice girl's not a one with the defects. Cellophane shrink wrap, so correct. Red dogs under illegal legs. Hi, cousin Jimmy. Florida. He looks so good that she gets down in bags. I can't sing right now because everyone's saying cool stuff. Game night. I know, isn't that a cool caller? Your brother's 70th birthday in New Zealand. First time ordered groceries at home. How is that? How is it to order groceries at home? I'm kind of an analog girl. What can I say? I need a shirt that says that. I'm proud of that. Oh my goodness gracious, David Tronzo's here. We do have a band. How are you? Yeah, I can't sing anymore right now. Hi, Ruben. Thank you all for being here. This is really, it's fun. I mean, you know, how wild is our life now? Song title? Which one? I had a good song title today. I actually wrote it down and I'm gonna, Analog Girl, song title, ooh, let's do it, yeah. Okay, that's our song title. I have another one. Jim Chang, would have visited your mom at the Episcopal home and end up with the bar. <laughs> oh, it's the highlight of your day. Gina, grocery delivery is on point. I've always said I'm an analog girl in a digital world. Cause she is living in, in an analog world and she is in a digital girl you know that Gina you want to call us and we could talk food anybody want to talk food what you had for dinner tonight what you have in your refrigerator and you're not quite sure what to do with it tell us about my necklace why don't you tell us about my necklace this necklace this was our brother Nino's chain, and this was our father's wedding ring. And this one is from New Mexico. And hi, David Tronzo. I loved what you played the other day. Are you going to do another? Everyone's doing these virtual concerts now. It's pretty incredible. And a lot of them show up on my feed, so check them out anyway. David Tronzo, one of the most eclectic and special and talented guitarists on the planet. Sending you much love. From Lillian and I. So, there's a lot of talented people. Red, red Chili? David, I'll put some more things. Okay, put some up and, and tag me or you give me a heads up when you're doing it and I'll, I'll send people your way for sure. So are we going to have a party on Zoom this week, or are we just going to stay here? I'm good either way. Thank you. One of these days, one of these days we get to play together after 20 plus years. Gina, are you going to call? Talk food? Because cause it's getting, what time is it? I don't want to, I don't want to keep, I mean, what else do we have, what are you guys doing tonight? Are there any good movies happening? We're not going to Zoom tonight. What's going on by Four Non Blondes? I don't know that song. I know. Hey, 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 hey. First time I heard me sing 20 years ago at the Cerritos Performing Arts Center in SoCal. Hold on.
Watching Westworld. Whoa, that's crazy. Can I do this right now? Gina Molita. Hey. Hey. Hey, Lisa. This is this is our other sister, Gina. Gina. You haven't met Lisa. Oh, I should go put my glasses on too. Girl, I had on a scarf earlier, and I was gonna wear my glasses. Well, this is this is my um, end of the world. Uh, the, uh, I got all these. I got all these um, scarves a gift a few years ago because I wear my hair up all the time, and they've been in a package. Kind of like, yeah, maybe I want them, maybe I don't. And this week, I'm like, oh shit, I need these. <laughs> here's my here's my end of the world hat. Nice girl. If you're going to the end of the world. Good night, stuff. David Tronzo. All right, I'm just, wait. I'm gonna get my end of the world hat. Did, does anybody else have an end of the world? Well, we could have a hat party. There we go. Got my look. We're having a hat party. I look like Tina Turner. Hi, oh. Kelly. Hi, David. My neighbor's daughter's grocery shop for me today. Oh. Ooh. That's one friend of mine had dressing and gravy with her rotisserie chicken, and one cousin had chili. What did you have? This is where it gets fun. Um, we, well, me, I, I got some beef out of the freezer and made a stir fry. Mm. With, I had some Napa cabbage and some red peppers, fresh ginger, garlic, scallions, and um, made some white rice. It was a beautiful stir fry, you know, just kind of haven't been to the store in two weeks. So all that produce that's, you know, kind of get a little old, long the tooth strong you know do a little stir fry do a little stir fry and also some uh, turnips for lunch and it doesn't sound glamorous but turnips are actually weirdly delicious as forever on the counter and then when you cut off the top of them the top's still growing you can plant them oh sure get, get, so that's tomorrow so i've got that going on um yeah it was a beef stir fry night for sure there was some mystery package in the freezer i pulled it out three or four days ago and it was beef it was like nice pieces off of the edges of the tenderloin and so it was real tender I made a nice stir fry anybody yep. else so she had stir fry I had minestrone soup from Tosi's hi cousin Sandy and I had um, some spinach and peas and red peppers because Lil and I like red peppers together but we made oh Jim Chang made a stir fry too with chicken and green and yellow squash Awesome. Anybody else? I hear a cat. Do I hear a cat? Do you have a cat, Gina? I do, but she's not making noises right now. She's probably all curled up with my son who's doing his homework. Oh, you had breakfast for dinner? What did you make? What's your breakfast for dinner? Good night, Pat. Oh, and Jim also got Thai food tonight. So. In Belgium. John, John Glenn, are you still here? Did you did you jump off? Did you jump ship? Monkfish Provençal. Fancy. Pretty I know fancy. That Lee's pretty it. fancy. Nice. I was thinking about you, Jenna, when I was making dinner and wishing that, like, you know, I could tape it. and But I thought, you know, that's not spontaneous. And it's 11-11 11, 11 is late for 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 dinner for the kids so i was like ah screw it but i really thought that would be kind of fun to be like hey here we are cooking why don't you do why don't we do a facebook live on your page and i'll invite people and we could do dinner hi patty oh, that would be fun that'd that be would fun. Be, i'm at a grocery so i probably have to go to the grocery store or something i haven't done in over two weeks hi tom so. barney i'm saying hi to people still but i just kissed you oh i know i know i'm talky <laughs> Hi, Galen. Scrambled eggs with pesto turkey. Oh, gosh. Jim, you're just going off, man. Anything with pesto. Dumplings and podsu. Oh, I love podsu. Oh, I love podsu. That's, do you make that, podsu? No. Me? Yeah. Oh, I, no. We'll just, we'll just have to go. Well, apparently I'm going to have to get turned on to this because there's a bunch of recipes in the world that I have never made. It's good. So that's the greatest thing about cooking. There's always something mm -hmm. that you... And you get to learn it. 
That's true. Thank you. My cousin just said I look good. We both don't. We look, don't we look like cousins right here? Her name is Gina Melita, and I'm Jenna Mamina. So we, you know, we hang out and talk late night. Funny enough, look so much like my sister is eerie. And, and you look, and you remind uh, me of my sister. Like the missing link, and like, like she's like the missing link between the two of us. <laughs> See, they do the big smile. Lisa, are you still there? You, they do. You could, we could all. We're all sisters. Hi, Carolyn. We are all sisters. Hi, Paul Hansen. Ooh, bassoon extraordinaire. We have some talented musicians here tonight. So I'm. I am curious if you guys are gonna. Uh, if we do, we sign up for the self-employed songwriters and gig workers. Same smile. Yep. Yep. What up, beauty? Yeah, her enthusiasm. My sister just said she loves your enthusiasm. You, you, two, you, the two of you together in a room. Woo! Wow, that would be fun. It'll happen. Maybe jazz fest time. Also, pop. Lisa Guthridge. Hi, how are you? So, guys, I'm kind of tired. Zoe Ellis, ooh, Zoe Ellis is here. Zoe, Zoe, we need to sing. Zoe and I do a, um, we did a really beautiful concert at the Freight and Salvage in June with Leah Ticey. We sang um, music from the record Forget About It and My Brain Just by Alison Krauss. Oh, I love Alison Krauss. We, we did the whole record. We divided it up between the three of us. And Zoe put together this band that was just the million dollar band. And we did one gig and I sure hope we get to do it again. Because it was, it was one of those nights where I wanted everybody in the world that I know to be there. Because I knew it was going to be as great as it was. Because Zoe is my most favorite vocalist. And when you hear her... Um, you would agree with me and are you doing any um you're going to do something with ellen you're going to do a sing along with ellen i think so let me know when that is and i'll post that here on my page too but oh do you have any more limoncella uh just enough see never made it to limoncella that's what's so funny was we were going to make limoncella but i don't like sugar and sweet drinks so i'm like you know quarantined at home Thinking, well, I've got this lemon infused vodka. Why would I ever add sugar to it? So, no, totally. there's just enough for like today and tomorrow. And that's kind of it. I guess I have to go back to the grocery store now. And you haven't been either. I haven't been. But I had some people Wait, drop some food off for me. So oh, that was yeah. good. I can't yeah. go. I mean, I've not gone. I, this is right. tomorrow's going to be 14 days for me that I've been chilling. Hi, Maria Mandarino. How's your restaurant doing? You're doing a lot of takeout. I have a cousin that she has a, a restaurant and they're doing beautiful takeout food and supporting. And I can't remember the the town you live in. I know it's in Illinois. So if you want to type it in and tell me, I'll let people know next time that you're in your neighborhood. Patty Bach, we've been dancing together since we were children. So anyway... Yeah. Oh, 10 days for you too, Rich. Yeah. It's, there's no word, right? Surreal is not even the word, but. I think I hit inconceivable. Inconceivable. But that's funny, you know, in a way, when we say inconceivable, I, I always think of the Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Bride. But, inconceivable. But, uh, inconceivable. <laughs> but it's also unfathomable. It's crazy talk. Like, nobody, nobody has tools for this. Someone said today, I, and I, I'm not going to quote them right, we are living the science fiction that we read as children. Well, maybe you read it as a child, but it was like, I don't know when we, I mean, I, I mean my, uh, yes, yes. Good night, Prima. Yeah. What's weird is that our kids, and I noticed this because teenagers um, have read a lot of books um, post-apocalyptic novels like that's often you know when it comes to 
reading for kids in schools. They just want kids to read anything that's interesting Mm -hmm. to them. Anything that you read is reading, right? So the thing that grabs kids the most. (coughs) And weirdly, like, our kids are unfazed by this. They're like, oh, yeah. They kind of like, they're like, yeah, we kind of knew this was happening because you've been reading about it since the third grade. And I'm like, wait, what? (laughs) Oh, Hunger Games? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, I read about Little Women and shit, you know, I was like, fine but you know they're like oh, in the course 1980 but what's funny is, is that our kids are you know surprisingly adapting very well um right. in my in, in my household anyway i can't speak for everyone but uh i i have to laugh i'm like well they have been reading about this now for the past three they're or four prepared years. yeah like a friend of mine just said she was reading nancy drew but i was right. reading stuff that i actually got in trouble for reading in school but yeah, we weren't reading this kind of stuff. But I think I'm gonna um, say good night. And um, as much as I want to hang out and talk, sure. I'll give you a call. Yeah, sure. But peace to everyone. Stay healthy. So everybody else, thank you so much for being here. Hi, Anne. Um, Sleep well, and tomorrow is another beautiful new day, and we'll make it work. Good night.